Um, so all the, the countries of, of the international community have not tested um, nuclear weapons, except for one country called DPRK. This is the sixth time, um, and, and this is therefore clearly uh, a challenge and a violation against the global norm that the international community has been upholding. We would like to maintain that. Um, so there is, in fact, a very long-term uh, global implications of what the DPRK uh, has been doing through their uh, um, provocative actions, uh, not uh, beyond, in fact, just the regional uh, instability questions. So that's something that I have uh, emphasized in my uh, statement to the, the, the Conference on Disarmament. The United Nations is already engaged in, in a number of ways. Um, we are very actively uh, monitoring and following the situation uh, of all sorts of things, including um, you know, monitoring um, of um, um, testing and, and, and missile launches. Um, the Secretary General has repeatedly said that he stands ready uh, to play a role uh, if he is requested by member states uh, to um, to um, um, offer good of his good offices um, in terms of, um, for example, reducing tensions um, over the case, but also if there are any role requested of him uh, in terms of facilitating discussions and dialogue. Today in the CD, uh, this morning, uh, a number of countries that took the floor um, that commented on DPRK, uh, they all in fact uh, stated their support for the, uh, the united positions of the Security Council. So it does have an impact, uh, Security Council being the uh, organ of the, uh, the United Nations in charge of or responsible for maintenance of international peace and security, I think it is uh, one of the, the critical or one of the most important elements uh, in terms of finding a peaceful solution uh, to, the, to any crisis, including DPRK.